Linux is known for being in a safe environment for you and me and anyone that doesn't want to deal with the headache of using an antivirus or even caring about its existence because unlike Windows and Linux you don't need such a thing because it's safe enough to simply not have one. Microsoft, please take notes. Now what you wouldn't expect is that Linux can in fact get attacked. Yes, I'm being serious. Torsions weren't just made for Windows. They can also run on Linux. And a great example is what happened with Arch Linux, where somebody or a group of people decided to upload malicious files to the AUR, the Arch User Repository. And if you don't know what that means, it's basically a community-driven repository for Arch Linux users. It contains user-submitted packages that allows user to compile and install software that is not available in the official Arch repository, which means you can upload something to the AUR and somebody will check what you uploaded and potentially take it and give it a try. And if you're an Arch user, you know how cool is actually the AUR. Now here where things get a bit serious, because if you're new to Arch Linux and you wanted to give the AUR a try just because why not, there is a big chance that you will install a software from the AUR that you don't need. And by that I mean you might install Install malware by mistake. Now, despite the fact that Windows and Linux are way different than each other, the damage that Satorsion can do to both operating systems is the same or almost the same, depending on what that specific Torsion does. Usually, it's either gonna collect your data or maybe create a little backdoor so your machine is accessible anytime. But in general, it's nothing good. Talking about Torsions, you should know that the success of a specific Torsion relies on how much social engineering was done. Because if you can't convince a user to execute your torsion, then it's basically useless. And it feels like your victims aren't your victims no more. And you're the victim, Mr. Crazy Hacker. But what if the people you targeted doesn't just get suspicious in the first second after reading the names of the packages you're trying to make them install, but even go through the line codes of their malicious package and realize that you're just a silly piece of they're trying to make a torsion look like a Firefox patch. Now the scary part is that the torsion I'm talking about is the RAT torsion, which stands for Remote Access Torsion. This can give the attackers control over the infected machine to first install more malware and then collect your data. And in case you didn't find out that your machine got infected, then spying on you will be the last box to check on their list. Now the good news is that once the AUR admins found out about this big miss, they immediately pulled the package. But the bad news is that there are AUR users that actually fall for that trap. So if you did install something malicious, reinstalling your OS will be the best decision to take. Now the problem is, is that the AUR submission guidelines aren't really that crazy. And that's something that those attackers took advantage of. Like please, somebody tell me why those guidelines are called guidelines when you let a new user with a freshly created account to share something like a Firefox fix bin. That's really silly goddammit. So that's why if you use the AUR please double check before taking a step further because you never know. The package that looked normal might be the same package that can cause a big mess and cost you a lot of your time just to recover from that damage it's made. But you know my opinion about this is that everything really doesn't matter to me because if someone get access to my shit all I will do is wish him luck finding something useful. But please don't just take this image hostage. It's an image of my cat. <laughs> he died two weeks ago. Oh my god, I cannot stop thinking about it. Look, look how cute. Just please don't delete that image. For anyone that's trying to hack me, please just keep that image. I will pay you real money. Just leave me alone and my image over here of my cat. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so funny. I mean, that's so sad. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. All right. I guess it's time to take a coffee break. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.